Hello and welcome to this video. I'm going to be showing you how to make moving textures in Minecraft, such as this repeater block here. So, we're going to head out of Minecraft because, as you know, due to the new way that this is done, I actually need to stay in Minecraft, go to texture packs, and then find my texture pack. I know, bit of a different way of doing it now, unless you're watching this in the future. So, what we're going to do, we're going to open the texture pack folder. And as you can see, here are our texture packs. Now you're going to need a texture pack to edit in this case, because that's how I'm going to be doing it. Um, so go ahead and open up a texture pack. I'm just going to choose this one. Um, what you're going to need to do is if this is an outdated texture pack, you're going to need to update it. So how we do that is I'm going to create, create a copy of this and let's call it test. Okay, can't perform it. Okay, of course, yes, that makes sense. So now we need to close this. And now we can edit it. So test. Now we have our test. That was a previous test, so we're not going to use that. But this is the test we're going to be using. Let's open it up and let's start to update it. What we need to do is open it with WinRAR. There will be a link to download that in the description if you haven't got to already. And what we need to do is we need to delete a couple things in here. For example, the terrain. Let's delete that. And then let's just delete these as well. So all we have is the pack and the pack.txt. Now, what we need to do is we need to navigate to the Minecraft bin. So, back to the Minecraft um, folder that we opened with the text pack. Go back one, come up to the bin, and find your .minecraft jar. Open that again with WinRAR, and find the textures folder. And you just want to drag and drop that in your texture pack. So now it's practically been updated. However, we haven't created any changes to it. We've just got a texture pack which is the default settings. So we're going to want to change that. How we do this is we go into our textures, blocks, and then you see each block has their own texture. Let's have a look at one of them for example. Um, let's find, I don't know, carrots. And you can see this is a block for when carrots are growing. And you can find all sorts of things. So now we're going to have to pick one to sort of choose. Let's go for the block of redstone. So this is the current texture and let's make a moving texture out of this. This is just going to be a completely random sort of texture so we're not going to put much effort into it but you can create your own pieces of art when you're doing it yourself. So we've opened it up in GIMP which is the program I'm going to be using and let's zoom in. So how Minecraft reads these textures is it looks for a 16 by 16 region and it says okay so this is the texture. However if the if it's larger than 16 by 16, it will basically look for any region by the powers of 2. The powers of 2, of course, being 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, etc., etc., 128, 256. So, if you have a 256 by 256 texture, it will count that as that. So, it will basically, it will count that as a single texture. However, if they are not equal to one another, it will look for the width and it will look for, for every square which has the same equal size as the width if that makes any sense. That's sort of an explanation but I think you'll be able to understand it a bit better if we put it into practice. So when it's looking for these extra textures it will use them in an animation. So that's how we're going to create our moving textures. So in GIMP go down to canvas size and you want to unclip the width and height. Because at, at the moment they move in synchronization, but if you click this little thing here, it unclips them and you can edit them. Now, we want to make the height a multiple of the width because we want it to fit nicely into it. So we're just going to make a, I don't know, 160. That gives us 10 extra spaces to work with because we can ten, fit 10 lots of this 16 by 16 to it. So resize. Now you see what we have is we have this column. So that's what I'm talking about. The width is 16, the height is 160. It will look for each 16 by 16 going down and just look for different textures to apply during its course. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this and show you how you would just make it work. So let's go ahead and do this. So you would duplicate it. And then you would change this up a bit, and then you would change the next one, the next one, and etc. etc. 
to create your final piece. So I'm going to pause right now and then I'm going to come back once I've created something. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I'm back and I've been working on this for a little while. I think it looks pretty good. Haven't actually tested it yet. But um, here we have a whole bunch of frames. I added some more and that's just by extending it as I showed. As you can see, I've got this sort of outward pulse which happens every once in a while. I just didn't want it to be constantly happening, so I gave it a little bit of a delay. So, um, yeah, now we're going to try and implement this into the actual text Mac. Very simple. Just go ahead, click Save, Merge Your Image, and you're pretty much done. Now it's asking you, do you want to update it in the archive? And actually, I think we're going to click No. I think we must have been editing it out of that. So, we've still got it here. But what we're going to do is, what are we looking for? So we need to go into this, find the texture pack we've been working on. What did we call it? We called it test. So it's been, it's been a while since I recorded the first half of this video. That took me quite some time. So we've got textures. And yep, yeah, so this is where we want to save it to. So for now, I'm going to save this. I don't know, save as. We're going to save it to. Let's go for the desktop. Block of redstone. Block redstone. Dot png. So let's click save. Merge visible layers. Yadi dadi da. Okay. Okay. So where is it? Here it is. There's our file. Now let's find our texture pack. We're using test dot zip. Go into blocks. Let's see. Well, I think we can just throw it in there. And replace. OK. And that should have sorted itself out, wherever it is. Um, so, let's open up Minecraft and see if it's working. Because if it's not, that will be very annoying. But it should be working. Can't think of anything that could have possibly gone wrong. So let's go into testing. My world. Um switch over to our texture pack our test.zip see it's compatible now let's go ahead and grab our block of redstone and there you go moving texture I think that's a pretty cool texture to be honest I quite like it probably be using that in my actual texture pack so there you go hope you've enjoyed this video I hope you've learned something. Um, that's about it. If there's any questions you have, queries, leave them in the comment section below and I'll try and answer them. And yeah, that's about it for this video. If you've enjoyed, a like rating would be much appreciated. And please check out some of my other videos, PvP maps, tutorials, the lot. And anyway, I'll see you guys next time.